Hey, what's up, family? This message, I just wanted to say, a lot of us, we're on our spiritual journeys, trying to make our lives physically, mentally, spiritually better. And we're all just trying to grow, and we have to understand that other people around us are also trying to grow. And sometimes people protecting their energy, it may make them seem like they're not as spiritual as they may seem. But in all reality, it's like they're just trying to grow just like us. And a lot of the times, people are just our reflection. And we kind of project on them. Not even project, reflect, because that's our reflection. And we kind of like, you know, mix up our viewpoints. Like where we think that the person is actually a thing that uh, we make them out to be. Uh, which is a mental construct, which is a thing. <clears throat> that's why I call it a thing. So we have to understand that people are also trying to grow at the same time. And uh, what we think is like spiritual growth is something that's in our heads and everyone else. It may seem like they contradict the true nature of spirituality, but we have to understand that the true nature is in every expression that's physical, mental, and spiritual in the universe. And not just from like people, but also like plants, animals, and things. You can't tell me that a letter written by somebody doesn't have a life of his own. Whoever reads it, manifests whatever was in the writer's mind um, because now they influence their uh, consciousness or subconscious with the words of someone else or the depiction of some someone else's stuff so sometimes it may be hard for us to um, come to the realization that everyone is growing at the same time and that if we're growing more spiritually um, that might make other people grow more spiritually which creates change all the way around us and we expect ourselves to change and everything else to remain the same and that's just not how like the world works usually once you start to change the things around you and your environment also starts to change based off the fact that you're mentally concentrating something from the spirit which means that it has to correspond on the physical so we start to see the changes um, and it starts to seem like the more that we wake up to the truth and the knowledge <clears throat> is um, at the same time uh, parallel with the uh, loneliness that we that we manifest as well. So it's like through the, lon through the loneliness, sometimes it's a better grasp of the knowledge. Um, but to say it the other way, how I said it before, I was saying that through the acquiry of knowledge, you start to embrace the loneliness uh, in order to grow. If I were to try to say it in a good way, but somehow it's like, as I always speak, I seem to like butcher up my words, so, you know, but I know the universe wants me to say it how I'm supposed to say it. And I shouldn't just think too hard about it. Um, also, I want to say like, thank you guys for the comments and stuff. Uh, I've been asking for signs and I asked for a sign yesterday, got it. I asked for a sign today, got it. And when I asked for a sign today, I was, um, I'm like, no, you can't keep asking, but why not, you know? Um, you have to believe that the universe will deliver out. You know what I mean? And you're gonna get exactly what you put in. Make sure you put in the right things because whatever you do, it does influence the people around you. Um, so always try to grow spiritually. Matter like being, I get my game. Peace.